have been running this company for last uh, uh, 24 years because we are just this year we are going to enter into our 25th year of our operation. And our focus is basically offering the solutions, products and services for uh, cold chain management for the pharma industries, uh, for the hospitals, healthcare, as well as the food and animal healthcare industries. And the main challenge is to uh, get the capital and uh, how you can expand much more faster uh, with the kind of support. So I think I, I really thank our uh, the bankers uh, and uh, also uh, some of our well-wishers who have really helped us. Uh, it's uh, me and my uh, uh, partner, Mr. Virendra Tiptis, we both are uh, started a journey. So I think it was basically the pace at which you want to grow and for which you require the funds. That's, that's the main challenge. But I think what we have done is uh, uh, we have been able to get a good business uh, from the customers and that's why uh, this uh, problem was overcome and uh, today uh, I'm very happy to say that we are absolutely a debt-free company. So we have been growing at a very good speed. In fact, uh, during the last two years of the challenging years of pandemic, uh, we had uh, contributed to uh, various uh, uh, programs uh, as far as the vaccine distribution uh, as well as uh, we also have done uh, lots of activities regarding the export of the pharmaceuticals uh, and we supported in terms of our cold chain technologies uh, to help uh, uh, you know uh, growing this uh, uh, sector and that time I came across uh, a program called as the polio eradication program I'm talking about uh, in 90s the late 90s after 95 to 98 and we really found that you know there were so many cases of polio the children were getting around 5,000 to 6,000 uh, children were getting affected by polio what happened that uh, during that time I came across one technology which was basically a technology to monitor the the temperature exposure of a vaccine because a polio vaccine is a very very highly sensitive product so government was reaching to all the corners with those uh, uh, you know this uh, polio raivar or dobun zindagi ke those campaigns but it was not possible to reach with the active vaccine during those days uh, without a monitoring of the cold chain so we introduced that technology uh, for this program and let me tell you that within one year the number of the polio cases came down from more than 5,000 to less than 400. So this was the impact of this technology, which was a WHO qualified technology. And that's how we thought that now it's a point, uh, now it's a time for us to explore this cold chain management solution uh, industry. So that's how we started this business. And today we are still focusing and expanding our products and techno technologies for innovative technologies to monitor the cold chain, also to maintain the cold chain. So we are into, we have, uh, you know, monitoring uh, the animal vaccine distribution. We are also maintaining animal vaccine distribution. All the vaccine for, uh, you know, uh, the vaccine for children program, we have been also a part of that uh, with our technologies. We are monitoring the different uh, cold rooms, warehouses, centralized warehouse cold room monitoring, we are doing it. So I think this is our contribution to improve the health of uh, uh, you know the common man of India. The footprint of the company basically we have an operation in India as well as in the Middle East. Actually what we do is uh, we have our uh, operation in Dubai which takes care of the entire Middle East region and uh, India is looking after the India and South Asia region so which is like the all the neighboring countries, SARC countries you can call us. So these are the two areas where we are focusing at this moment. I think one advice I would like to give it to, I mean, I'm sure that this today's young uh, uh, entrepreneurs and the young uh, people are uh, more exposed. They have uh, all the information available. There are all the means to spread. I think the main thing what they should do is uh, understand what the society needs and then try to find out some solution for that. Because if that they do and if they believe in the solution, I'm sure that the business will have a very good, very good performance.